All right, good morning, and thank you all for being here. Um, want to talk today. We're here to have a conversation about some of the great work that has been going on uh, by APD to, to crack down on violent crime in our city. You may not realize that the Atlanta Police Department's homicide unit exceeds the national standards in closing these cases by arrest. Uh, to date, they have closed 72 percent of homicide cases by arrest. You'll hear more about that from Chief Rodney Bryant in just a moment. The national average is 54 percent, and we're at 72 percent already. But I want to stress to the would-be offenders out there that if you think you want to commit a crime in this city, you may want to think again because we have our eyes on you, and you will be caught. Thanks to our Phoenix Air Unit, uh, which is APD's helicopter unit, APD has been able to track down car thieves very quickly. Um, we've made some significant arrests, and now uh, those car thieves are actually under arrest. And we've talked a lot, you've heard me talk a lot about uh, technology and cameras. Uh, Connect ATL is a system that allows businesses to connect their security cameras to the APD's video integration camera system. So if you are a business in this city, we want to make sure that you continue to look into the Connect ATL plan so that you, connect, you can connect your video surveillance system to ours. And APD will be able to see a crime in progress in real time. So if you are someone who wants to rob a place or you're a criminal that wants to do some activity, just know that these businesses and APD have their eyes on you. Now, we know that many of the criminals that APD encounters are actually repeat offenders, and you're going to hear a lot about that today. That is why we are encouraged that our partners at the Fulton County District Attorney's Office, uh, Fonnie Willis, and the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, uh, Sheriff Pat Labatt, are setting up a repeat offenders unit to stop serial criminals from committing further crimes. We also know that there is a backlog of cases pending uh, that go back even before the pandemic. To address this, we will be announcing a court watch program real soon where residents can view cases making their way through the system. This allows them to be able to see the, see the trial, see the cases, but also it allows judges to see that community members and victims care and they understand that they want to see good sentencing as it relates to violent crime. So stay tuned for much more on that program and, and others in the weeks to come. 